Hi everybody, I'm Stefan Holt and this is News 4 Now for Tuesday, November the 26th. First up, we'll talk about the weather. Uh, the clouds are building up tonight and if you're hitting the road for Thanksgiving tomorrow, watch out for some showers. Our high temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s. All right, now to the news and we'll get an update on Kennedy Airport. Dozens of food service workers were arrested during a protest on one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. You are unlawfully blocking the entrance to this building. Those workers took over Terminal 8. That's the American Airlines main hub at the airport. They're demanding better wages and better working conditions. First, they staged a die-in inside the terminal. After that, they moved outside, blocking traffic. Port Authority police moved in, arresting 65 demonstrators. New York just became the first big city in the U.S. to ban flavored e-cigarettes. The city council passed the bill by an overwhelming margin this afternoon. Mayor de Blasio says he's planning to sign it into law, but not everybody's happy about the bill. Some demonstrators tossed dollar bills from the balcony after the vote, saying the move just helps big tobacco. In New Jersey, a student has been suspended after attacking another student with a pocket knife. Happened this morning at Seoul Middle School in Linden. Linden's mayor tells us the victim was not badly hurt. No word yet on what led up to the attack. Syracuse University's chancellor says they will be stepping up security when the students come back from Thanksgiving break. Ken Siverud is responding to concerns about a rash of racist and anti-Semitic incidents on campus. He says campus police will double patrols and there will be extra escorts and shuttles available. They're also going to hire nearly 100 residential community safety officers by spring semester. Burglars beware. Don't mess with Willie Murphy. The 82 year old literally turned the tables on a guy who tried to break into a Rochester home. She's been powerlifting for the last eight years. She picked up a TV tray and put those reps at the gym to good use. I picked it up and started hitting, hitting, and it broke. The table broke in half because I was wailing on his behind. Willie was okay, but the burglar, he had to take a trip to the hospital. All right, that's it for News 4 Now, but stick around to see how one couple cleared the ice at the Rockefeller Center rink for an unforgettable proposal. I'm Stefan Holt. Thanks for checking in.